Welcome to Yandere's RS, where the girls hold you so dear, you'll scream in fear. Before we continue, I am legally obliged to inform you that you have been put on a list just for entering our store. Don't worry, that's just normal procedure. My name is Morpheus. Now, what sort of freak can I offer you today? Oh, not this shit again. You cannot take our entire stock. There is a strict limit of one Yandere per customer. Incidents in the past of Yandere harems have on numerous occasions led to bodily and mental harm for both the customer and unrelated parties. Furthermore, having more than one Yandere is highly illegal, both at the federal level and also from the Geneva Convention. Now, what single Yandere can I interest you in? Yes, of course. I can give you a tour of our products right this way. On the left we have Luna. She's by far the most tame Yandere, being one of the few without a history of violence that we know of. She's a very intelligent girl, always seeking to quantify her love. For instance, measuring what percentage her pupils dilate when looking at you, or measuring how much her heart rate increases when she's near you. Right now, her living space doesn't exactly allow for that sort of scientific analysis. However, you can definitely note that she is counting. She's counting the hairs on your head so that she has a reference for hair loss at a theoretical future date. She'll say something along the lines of, That other girl caused you to lose 3% of your hair, indicating stress. You should cut off ties with her. Overall, she is among the finest Yandere's we have available, and I highly recommend her, especially for ones not experienced with Yandere's. <sighs> Please remain behind the red line. It is not safe to come any closer to her cage. The Yandere's are head over heels for anyone who would actually want a Yandere, so getting too close can excite them to a dangerous degree. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I am authorized to use force if you do not comply. <sighs> There's always one. There we go. Excellent. I'm glad we can cooperate. Now then, shall we move on to the next Yandere? This one is called Sophia. She's a bit more violent than the previous Yandere we saw. But she is also still far beyond average as far as Yandere's go. She had a mildly violent episode in the past, but ever since then, she's been on good behavior. Or at least she has as good as behavior as Yandere's have. <sighs> the most significant thing I can tell you about her is that she is highly delusional. She seems to think that everyone is just an alien pretending to be a human, which is completely bogus. I can confirm, because if I was an alien, I wouldn't be on this godforsaken planet. Silver lining is that she consistently acknowledges the customers as human. Like I said, Yandere lover means happy lover. Yes, of course. The next Yandere is right this way, sir. Her name is Emily. Oh, oh I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stare directly into her eyes too much. You might provoke her. You see, Emily is one of the more dangerous Yandere's. She hasn't hurt any of the customers, but she has broken into her homes. In fact, I want to make sure your window and doors are firmly locked tonight. Regardless of which Yandere you ultimately go with, no, I'm afraid that is not the case. Emily has broken into customers' homes after we acquired her. That means she has breached containment multiple times. To be honest, we're really keen on getting rid of her. She has been a real headache so far. At this point, we would much rather put her down, but that simply is impossible. DeAndre Wright's lobby would have our heads. Hmm. DeAndre in the back. Oh dear. I don't think you want her. She's Allison, and she is by far our most dangerous DeAndre. She has 12 counts of murder, 36 counts of assault, and one count of arson. She also has a few littering charges, but that really isn't important. We recently took her in after she killed her last owner. There was barely a body left. But that's what happens when the Yandere is a wolf girl. The 
the former owner, she was trying to make her own Yandere harem, illegally buying Yandere's from friends and family in order to skirt around the regulations. As you can see, the regulations exist for a reason. The family is still mourning. Stop clawing at those bars. She's actually getting out. I knew we should have gotten the electric cage, but management always wants to cut corners. Get back, you sick freak. Back in your cage. I'm sorry you have to see that. Here. Please take this as a consolation. It's a coupon for a free Yandere burger at the store restaurant. I recommend holding the pickles. Now, do any of the Yandere's you saw today interest you? Oh, thank God you actually picked one. I mean, yes, yes, we can ship her to your address right away. Payment? Oh, no, 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 no. We pay you. <laughs> this whole operation is heavily subsidized by federal money, you see. Just sign here and perfect. Sale is finalized. By the way, we have a no return policy. It was in the fine print, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure you must be happy. Yeah, with your Yandere. Seeing as how you always been alone before this. Yeah. Awesome. So. What, how did I know that? Uh, lucky guess. Please don't tell management. Have a great day, and I hope you live. Goodbye.